Morning, guys. Um, throwing down again with uh, some barbells and burgers, this time um, with my giant XL Brobarian. That is Liam Hemsworth. Uh, this is going to be a brutal session. It always is, just because whenever me and Liam catch up, we always kind of just like egg each other on. And, you know, no one wants to basically quit. No one wants to be the first to tap out. So it's going to be a, a, a biomechanical push session. Um, but with that said, quite often, you know, things can kind of get out of hand and we end up throwing around a bunch of other stuff. So the theory of this particular workout is, again, general physical preparedness fused with kind of strongman training as well. Whole idea is this idea of work capacity. So your body's ability to perform and positively tolerate training of a given intensity and duration. And the reason we're training like this at the moment in Byron Bay is just because um, at the moment with everything that's happening with COVID, um, both myself and Liam, we, we basically don't have any set projects at the moment. So we're not really specializing in our training. We're just trying to improve work capacity. Um, also as well, there's just that whole idea of strength training as a modality, just helping ligaments, tendons, making you a more robust and resilient athlete. So when you do come to specialize, you've kind of just built this bulletproof body ready for whatever you need to actually specialize in. So that's the theory. We're also gonna fuse it with a bit of plyometric training as well. Um, also as well, uh, inevitably, this has kind of become a bit of a running joke with me and Liam, just because I've, I've, I've rarely seen somebody of his stature. I think he's, he's maybe like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he's over 100 kilos at the moment. I've never seen somebody do uh, muscle ups so casually for a warm up. Um, so wait till you see that in the video as well, uh, because at some point he'll probably bust that out today. Um, but I always say this with Liam, just to perform like a little bit of a, a strength and conditioning autopsy on him. I just think he's, he's such a unique athlete and, and actor hybrid in that you won't find someone who goes and does like four hours of surfing, then just goes, eats, hour later is recovered, ready for a strength session um, and just does those back to back. It's that idea of, of Robert Hickson looking at concurrent training. So this whole idea of um, essentially in any given day or, or, or training session, you want to send a really clear cellular signal to the body about what you want to adapt to. And if you're trying to do too many things at once in that session, you dilute the potency of the stimuli. Yes, Luna. <laughs> but what, um, and what we're going to do, and you can kind of do this with Liam because he has such a high work capacity as an athlete throughout his life. The thing is, is that you were, uh, Luna's going to help me with this sports science. Come here. So what, the thing is, is what uh, Liam does is if he's there going and doing uh, surfing throughout the morning, We'll then separate it with enough recovery time, eat, relax, recover, sauna, ice bath, and then hit our strength session in the afternoon. And I just think that's what makes him such a unique actor and athlete that he's able to combine those two and actually get essentially two adaptations out in a single day. Um, so he's already surfed today. I've still got to go do, get my 10K swim in this afternoon, but this is where we join up and we do our strength session. Uh, general physical preparedness, strongman inspired, bit of powerlifting work in there. Um, and then what we'll probably do as well is kind of NFL rugby inspired stuff. We do like to do a lot of uh, functional finishes. So there will probably be a tire battle at some point. Um, and also as well with the, the sleds outside, love doing farmers um, and, and rope carries as well. So that's gonna be cool to throw around. So with all of that said, I'm going to apologize now because quite often I'll talk during a workout and I'll, I'll explain things, but really the whole purpose of this is to get a good session in and just to give you a snippet as well, just kind of a snippet and a preview of what happens when Liam is kind of just off camera. Again, people will see him on the cover of magazines, you know, on films, but you never really see the work ethic and, and the hours, you know, under the iron that he's putting in. So hopefully, this will give you a sneak preview. Massive shout out to Christian as well, who's holding the camera, who's allowed us to kind of just lift the veil just a little bit to see what it takes uh, to be on the cover of magazines, to do movies, uh, and, and, and what he's doing in his, essentially his, his off season, if you can call it an off season, because it's Liam's off season, but he's still surfing for four hours and lifting weights and barbells and burgers. So this is Liam Hemsworth's off season. <laughs> Mm. 
we've got big ten. Big ten, slow and controlled. Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Let's go, big man. Let's go. Don't be teasing. Don't be teasing. Let's go. Good. Let's go. 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 Don't even need me. Good. Yes. Good. That was it. Yeah. Good. I'm good for 40. I love to cut more 40. Just doesn't it? 